Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, welcome to a COD Advanced Warfare video. If you could drop a like on the video and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, not forced you to do it, but it doesn't take a second and it really helps me and my channel grow. So thanks and I hope you enjoy the video. So guys, what we're going to be doing today is a gun guide series and what a gun guide series is, is it essentially is just me showing you what guns have you know classes for different guns and what I think the best classes for that gun so yeah today we're starting off with the first sort rifle you unlock which is the bow uh, it's a really good weapon overall it's not the best sort rifle I wouldn't say but it's it's versatile it's it's good long range short range whatever you want it does have a slight bit of recoil uh, which is annoying but that is why I put the foregrip on so what we're gonna want to do is you want to gonna want to put them two attachments on it you're going to want to get these perks on it. You want to go on low profile, so obviously to keep a low profile, you're going to want scavenger and blast suppressor because scavenger, obviously so you don't run out of ammo, and blast suppressor because it's one of the most useful perks in this game. Um, it lets you dart around the map freely without anyone detecting you. Now, what you want to do now is you want to set up two score streaks or three score streaks depending on how you want to balance your class out. So three score streaks if you don't want an extra perk, but if you want to perk two, then I'd suggest only get or yeah. So if you want to perk two or an attachment for your secondary weapon, I suggest getting rid of the third perk and just having two. So so you can select secondary weapon. I've gone with the um, that <laughs> uh, and yeah. So you can have a perk two if you want to, but I wouldn't advise it because then it allows you to have a third um, score streak like you do here. So yeah, this is pretty much the class and. You can also select Stim for your exobility because obviously it does help a lot in those annoying situations where you're in a corner and you've got low health. And you should probably throw in a variable grenade in there because variable grenades are very helpful. Um, so yeah, in the background now you're seeing some gameplay of me with the bow. Um, I, I, I wouldn't say I love this weapon, but I really do like it. It is a really good weapon. And um, if you want to get good at this game, then obviously it's easy because it's like, it's one of the first weapons you unlock. And that's the same with a lot of CODs. So like the MTAR and Black Ops 2 was a really good weapon. The Type 25 was a really good weapon. And they were all the first two unlocks. So it is a very good weapon. So yeah, this is basically um, the class that I'm on about. It works for me. If it doesn't work for you, then... I can't really help that, but this is what I'd suggest using with the bow. Uh, it is it is such a all-purpose weapon um, that it it doesn't really matter what class you use it with and what other stuff you use it with. But I found that the combination of the stuff that I've told you to use um, works the best. Uh, so yeah, just a quick um, note. Putting a suppressor on it would probably help with the recoil, but then that takes up one of your attachment slots. Um, so I like to use a suppressor personally, but I haven't in this in this gameplay because um, I felt like there wasn't any need to. But in hardcore, which is what I play just as much as I play normal, I would use a suppressor because it reduces the recoil. And to be honest, on hardcore, range and damage don't really matter. Um, so yeah, it's it's just a good weapon and. Thanks for watching, I guess. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I've helped some people out that's watched this video. Hope to have helped everyone out that's helped that watched this video, actually. But, um, yeah, so if you did enjoy, then please drop a like on the video. It really helps me. Subscribe, comment, whatever. Any sort of feedback is really good. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.